Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'll be covering how you can install and use a GPU screen recorder to stream, record, and replay gameplay footage on Linux. Now, this tool uses the NVENC encoder found on modern NVIDIA GPUs, so for obvious reasons, this will only work if you have an NVIDIA hardware with the latest proprietary drivers installed. So, GPU stream recorder can be installed from the AUR if you've got an Arch based distribution. Or alternatively for everyone else, there's now a flat pack available. Now, historically, I would have recommended using OBS Studio to record game footage, but with the release of 28.0, they've dropped support for the NVFBC plugin, which was one of the most efficient methods of capturing and recording gameplay with the minimum impact on the frame rate. So, step one is to patch your NVIDIA driver with NVBC support. Now, out of the box, only non-consumer grade GPUs have support for this. However, with a simple script, you can enable support to consumer grade GPUs as well. Simply visit the NVIDIA patch GitHub page and then click on the big green code button and download the zip archive. Once that's downloaded, extract the archive and you'll see inside there's a couple of scripts you can run. The main one that we're interested in here is the patch.fbc.sh. Let's open up a terminal window in that location and we'll run the script with the following, which is sudo dot slash patch dash fbc dot sh. Press enter. Now, in my particular case, I've already run this script, so it's detected the driver version and it's already patched it for me. But in your case, you'll probably find it'll say patching successful. Alternatively, if you do plan to use the flat pack version of the GPU screen recorder, you'd run the following instead. It'd be sudo.slash-patch-fbc.sh and then the dash f at the end. Once again, I've already run this ahead of time, but you will get a similar message saying patching successful. So step two is to install the GPU screen recorder. As I mentioned earlier, there are two main methods of installing this application. You can use the AUR if you've got an Arch-based distribution, or you can install it via Flatpak. So for the AUR method, there's two packages you want to install. GPU-ScreenRecorder-Git and GPU.ScreenRecorder-GTK.Git. So the first package is the application itself, and then the second is a GUI frontend for the tool. Either way, install using your AUI helper. In my case, since I'm using Manjaro, I'm going to install both these packages using Palmac or the AdRemove software application. So for the Flatpak method, it's now available on Flathub, so it is simply a matter of enabling Flatpak support for your system and then installing from there. If you want to know how to install it on your system, go to the setup guide at the bottom of the page and then choose your distribution here. Once you've done all that, go back to the main page and then click on the big install button. Either way, no matter which installation method you fundamentally choose, once the installation has finished, then launch the application as normal from your application tray. So step three is using GPU screen recorder. Now the interface for this application is very straightforward and easy to understand. You have the record section here, which will allow you to specify recording either a single window, a focused window, all of your monitors, all monitors direct mode, as well as a singular monitor. In my case, I only have one single monitor, so I'm gonna choose that option here. So the audio input will allow you to specify your input or microphone. In my case, I have the option of either choosing my Blue Yeti or my onboard microphone jack. I'm going to choose my Blue Yeti, so I select that and press Add. Finally, you can specify the quality of the video that you want to record. And as of this video, you have the option of medium, high, which they recommend for live streaming, very high, which is just recommended for standard recording, as well as ultra. Let's go with very high. You can also specify a frame rate as well. However, in my case, I'm going to leave that as 60 FPS. So at the bottom, you have three buttons. You have the stream option here. So if you click on the stream one, you have the option to choose the service you want to stream it to. And then if you just paste that stream key and then click streaming, it will start streaming to that service. Second, you have the record option here, which the only option really you have is where you want to save the file to. And once you've chosen the location, click recording. And then finally, you have the replay, which is very similar to NVIDIA Shadow Play, which will capture the last 30 seconds of footage. But again, you can specify to change that as well. And once again, just choose where you want to have that saved to. Now for my demonstration, I'm gonna choose the option here to record. And I'll just choose, shall we put, we'll put it in the downloads. And we'll call this test. 
and okay click save and then click recording let that record for a couple of seconds and then click stop recording and now if we go to our download as you can see we have a new file here let that record for a couple of seconds and then click and that's it really so in conclusion gpu screen recorder is a great alternative for people that do want just want to quickly record some footage as well as take the minimum resource footprint especially now that obs has dropped support for nvmpc either way thank you very much for watching guys and if you did find this video helpful then please don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll catch you in the next one bye now